The 2025 Trident II D5 represents the apex of submarine launch ballistic missile SLBM technology developed by the United States. It remains a cornerstone of the U.S. strategic nuclear deterrent. Introduced originally in the late 20th century, the Trident II D5 has undergone continuous enhancements in guidance, propulsion, warhead safety, and survivability, culminating in the latest 2025 variant that includes crucial technological advancements for the modern battlefield. This three-stage, solid-fueled missile is primarily deployed aboard Ohio-class and the next-generation Columbia-class nuclear-powered submarines, providing unmatched second-strike capability in global nuclear deterrence. The Trident II D5 is designed for range, precision, and payload versatility. It is about 44 feet in length, 83 inches in diameter, and weighs nearly 130,000 pounds at launch. The missile employs a cold launch system, meaning it is ejected from the submarine by a gas generator before its solid rocket motors ignite. This process significantly reduces damage to the launching platform and allows for stealthier operation. The missile can travel more than 7,500 miles, making it capable of striking virtually any point on the globe from deep underwater, ensuring survivability in a full-scale nuclear exchange. The first stage of the Trident II uses a solid-fuel rocket motor built with advanced carbon composite materials for enhanced strength and weight reduction. This stage initiates the missile's initial trajectory after breaching the water's surface. The second and third stages also rely on solid propellants and are designed with precision nozzles and thrust vector controls to maintain a precise and optimized flight path through the upper atmosphere. Each stage is engineered for separation without loss of momentum or accuracy, ensuring smooth transition from one to the next. One of the most critical components of the Trident II is its post-boost control system, often referred to as the bus. After the third stage completes its burn, the post-boost vehicle takes over, guiding the re-entry bodies to their respective targets. This system is equipped with advanced guidance units, propulsion units for mid-course corrections, and targeting computers. This capability allows each missile to deploy multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, giving it the ability to strike several targets from a single launch. Depending on configuration, a single Trident II can carry up to 8 W88 thermonuclear warheads, 475 kilotons, or 12 lower yield W76 warheads, 100 kilotons, although arms treaties and operational doctrine often limit this loadout. The 2025 version of the Trident II has seen major upgrades in guidance technology. Its guidance system employs an astro inertial navigation system that can operate without GPS, providing incredible accuracy even under electronic warfare conditions. The recent updates have included modern digital computing processors, enhanced radiation shielding for electronics, and improved gyro technology, pushing the circular air probable CEP, to less than 90 meters, which is highly accurate for a strategic nuclear weapon. This precision makes it capable of targeting hardened military installations, command centers, and key infrastructure nodes. One of the distinguishing aspects of the 2025 Trident II variant is its warhead modernization. The W76-2 low-yield variant is now more widely deployed, offering the U.S. Navy a more flexible response option in the nuclear arsenal. This variant is believed to have a yield of around 5 to 7 kilotons, allowing for tactical applications without crossing the threshold into full strategic nuclear exchange. Additionally, security upgrades include fail-safe mechanisms, enhanced arming, fusing, and firing systems, as well as improved detonation control and permissive action links to prevent unauthorized use. The re-entry vehicles themselves have been reinforced with improved heat shielding and radar evading materials. These vehicles are designed to survive the intense conditions of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, including temperatures that exceed 7,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The latest design improvements in the 2025 D5 version help maintain accuracy and warhead integrity through this critical final stage. The Trident II D5 is launched from vertical missile tubes aboard nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines (SSBNs), primarily the Ohio class and the newer Columbia class submarines. Each submarine is capable of carrying 20 Trident II missiles. These platforms operate under extreme stealth, patrolling vast oceanic expanses at undetectable depths. Their mobility and concealment make them exceptionally hard to locate and neutralize, thereby ensuring a credible and survivable nuclear deterrent. Another feature of the Trident system is its integration with the broader command and control structure of the United States Strategic Command, USSTRATCOM. 
Communication links are designed to function under nuclear duress and include extremely low frequency ELF, and very low frequency VLF, systems to allow for emergency communications with submerged submarines. These links are hardened against EMP effects and cyber threats, and they ensure continuity of mission even in degraded conditions. The Life Extension Programs LEPs, for the Trident 2D5 have played a significant role in keeping the missile operationally effective through 2040 and beyond. These programs involve upgrading guidance systems, replacing aging rocket motors, and integrating next-generation electronic systems. The U.S. Navy and defense contractors like Lockheed Martin have worked extensively on maintaining performance and reliability standards above 99%, with over 180 successful test flights under strict conditions. The Trident 2 D5 is not just a missile, it is the embodiment of strategic deterrence theory, technological precision, and military dominance in the underwater domain. As global security dynamics evolve and strategic competition intensifies, the 2025 Trident II remains a key pillar of the United States' national security posture. Its ability to remain hidden, to launch with extreme accuracy, and to deliver multiple warheads across intercontinental ranges make it one of the most formidable nuclear assets in existence.